Hey, welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam, with another great screencast. And in this screencast, I would like to talk about a jQuery plugin, which is really, really cool. It's called Endless Scrolling jQuery plugin. Okay, if you're not familiar with Endless Scrolling, then uh, go and check out uh, Google Reader. So what Google Reader is, is basically uh, an aggregation of all the... Uh, it, uh, on the RSS feeds okay so I'm subscribed to many different uh, blogs okay and if I want to read I don't have to click like you can see like 20 items over here and if I go to want to go to the next page uh, I don't have to click a next button or a page number I will just scroll down and you will see uh, just keep your eyes on, over here on the right hand side on the vertical scroll bar you will see that when it reaches the bottom it uh, it starts to load more of the of the RSS feeds okay so I think this is a very nice feature which will let you read more without clicking the page and waiting for the page to load you'll just you will just scroll down and you will just read the uh, different headings okay or different things okay and it will be loaded at uh, and in the small sections so jQuery uh, already has a plugin for that and I'm going to be using that one to just to give you an introduction to what it is all about so let me go ahead and uh, use that plugin so here we go and I will use jQuery library so I'm just going to reference both of these over here and to keep things simple what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple uh, div or a UL control basically okay UL, which stands for unordered list. I'm just going to paste it over there because I don't want to type it. Item list is another thing, which is a which is a style, and I'm just going to go over there and paste the style also. Uh, let's paste it in the head section. Here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and run this page. It's called Demo Endless Scrolling. I will say View in Browser. and let's see so here we go this is our page and you can see it consists of uh, different li which are the list items and the height of the list item is quite large so that the reason is that the, uh, so I can see the vertical scroll bar and if I scroll down you will see that uh, I have given some different colors over here okay now colors are you know you can I'm giving different colors so that you know you you will be you can see the difference that there are different items different list items so what we need now now at this point is that when we scroll down so if I scroll down at the bottom right over here it should load another uh, item for the uh, for different color or the same color okay so let's go ahead and implement that and I will be using of course the endless scroll plugin that I just downloaded. So here we go. It's going to say a script language uh, JavaScript. I am using Visual Studio 2010. Of course, you can use anything you like um, to code. You know. Now I'm going to create a document.ready. Now document.ready will be fired whenever your DOM is ready, which is the document object model whenever that is ready it will be triggered now I can say endless scroll and then I can provide a features over here or different kind of uh, I would say different kind of attributes or options that you can put over here okay so I'm just going to use some basic basic options I'm going to say bottle bottom pixels when are you going to fire the event? Well, when the bottom pixels are uh, 300. Okay. Callback event. So this is the event that will be fired uh, <coughs> when you scroll down. And you can do anything over here. So this is a callback event. All right. So I can say that, okay, give me a certain item. I can say, okay, give me all the items. I'm just going to be a little bit more fancy. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the items okay which contain in the item list and if you remember item list is the uh, name of the unordered list 
and I'm going to find all the elements who had the child with the class name style which means that I'm going to select all the list items okay and now I'm going to sim simply say okay I'm just interested in the one random item so give to me a random item all right so here we go um, now you can do different things you can create a random function I'm just going to create it very quickly by copy pasting it all right so this is our random function and the next thing you can do is that you can say cloned item you can clone the item because you don't want to pay the original item so you I'm just gonna say random item dot clone okay and then there's some code that I use to uh, remove the spaces which is this one so this will remove the spaces and get you get me the item and then finally when I get the item when I get the cloned item what I need to do is to set the text now I can set any text I want but I'm just gonna say okay item plus parts int uh, the item number okay so uh, you can you can do anything that you want I just want to make it a little bit unique in this case all right and then finally what you do is you say okay item list uh, dot append because you need to append the item to append the list item to the ul which is the unordered list and clone item all right I think that that should do it let's uh, go ahead and refresh the page and let's see how it works so you can actually see now when I'm scrolling down and when there are like 300 pixels left it's going and it's uh, adding some string concatenation is going on and it's also assigning some random color so it's picking out item randomly it's assigning random colors to it okay and you can actually see that it's changing it's like one 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 and you can see it's changing like different items okay and this is all this is what all uh, the endless scrolling is all about that the user will never click on a page like go to next you will just scroll down and it, it's just endless scrolling you just keep on scrolling it will never end and this is the main purpose of it I think this is a very useful technique uh, and this will I think become kind of like a default in many cases that you just scroll down and you will read different headings and if you like this you will just click on it and you will read out it okay so that's pretty much it and uh, on la one last note is highoncoding.com if you haven't visited if you haven't bookmarked it you are missing out on a lot of stuff if you are interested in reading I have this article as the introduction to endless scrolling with jQuery plugin and I have the next article also which is a grid view scrolling using jQuery plugin so if you want to see how you can do the same effect with a grid view control using Ajax this is the article for you but hey you, you know what don't worry I'm just going to get another video which will explain the whole thing also and you can see more videos over here um, you know the client ID mode which is some of the features of 4.0 uh, script loader feature which is also 4.0 if you are interested I'm always open for donations you can donate one time you can donate two dollar monthly five dollar monthly or ten dollar monthly this keeps us going this will uh, you just have to realize that it takes around 30 to 60 minutes to record a video and then addition time to convert it to HD format and your donations are always appreciated that's pretty much it and I hope you like this video and if you are using endless scrolling hey let me know I need to see how you're using it and how it helped you in your web application thank you very much have a nice day